Happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastors Jose and Patricia. Welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, where we honor God, we love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Bienvenidos a la, a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, Amen. all visitors, and all those of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Yeah. Prepare yourselves to receive. God has great word for you. He has great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. He's not finished with you yet. So don't give up on yourself. Don't quit. Amen. Amen. We got to study the word. Amen. We're, we're going to be talking about magnifying him. Yes. Amen. When you're magnifying him, man, the favor of God is with you. Amen. So let's remember this. The Lord is not finished with you. He has great plans for you. Make yourself available. Amen. Right. Remember that you can do all things through Christ. Amen. See yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Amen. 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 Father, before we go any further, let's make this declaration together. Grab your right. sword. Grab your Bible. Amen. And uh, I know probably this is the first time well, some of you ever grabbed the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> But grab your Bible, amen. This is your sword, mighty warrior for God. His warrior, 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 and yes. not warrior. <laughs> Some of us may confuse those, amen. He don't want you to worry. He wants you to be a warrior for him, amen. Praise yes. God. Be a soldier for Jesus. You're in God's army. Let's make this declaration yes. together. Okay. This is my Bible. I, I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. have. I, I can do what it says I can do today. today I'll be talking about where God, I'm born to confess, my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'm going to be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, man. I, I love that. And we're going to be talking again about magnifying him, and i got a spiritual nugget for you here. Amen. It says this, magnify him. Magnify him and not your problem. Amen. Some of us don't get past this. You got to magnify him and not your problem. We, we got this reverse. We always magnify the world. We magnify problems. We magnify circumstances before we magnify him. We make them larger, bigger than our God. Amen. So magnify him and not your problem. Your mind wanders, ponders, reasons, and disputes over minor matters that don't really matter. Spend your time magnifying him and how much he loves you. Your emotions will change when you take your mind off your problem and put your mind on magnifying him the prince of peace amen listen the word works when you work the word you have to get it in you and confess it it works all the time not just sometimes amen and uh, i've said this with you many times but uh, if you don't spend time with him before you do anything else spend time with him because if you don't the world's going to have you and don't let the world take you out of your That's peace. It. That's it. Bring them into your peace. Your peace. That's and if it. you don't do this, you're going to lose. Yeah. And you're going to step right into yeah. their mess and their problems. Uh, and you know there's lots of problems out there. Yes, there so is. praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Magnify Him. Magnifying Him. It should be the purpose of every Bible believing church to magnify God. Amen. Yes. Who is the church? We are the we church. Are. Amen. You are. And nobody ever told you, you need to know this. Mm -hmm. You are the church. Not this building. No, right. whatever building you happen to be going to right. for services, mm -hmm. that's not the church. That's you it. are the church. You we, the church. we, you are the body of Christ. Amen. Ooh, man, we got to get this straight. You are the church. And you're going somewhere to happen for him. Amen. Ooh, we got, I got quite a few scriptures for you. So anyway, there we go. Don't magnify your problem magnify your God amen. amen and we're going to be talking about magnifying we you know a lot of us use magnifying glass we use magnifying glasses we use telescopes we use all these things you know to magnify things but it's not to magnify your problem it's to magnify your God amen, amen. a lot of times you magnify him by the words you speak yes. amen so let's remember these things keep going man I like this Magnifying the Lord, uh, Psalms 34 and Psalm 69. We're going to be reading the those. Keep going. Uh, Psalms 34 and 3, that's the first one that we have. It says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Hey, we, the praise team just, man, they blessed us, man. Hey, we, had a, we, we had a great praise service, you know, and we magnified him and not the problem. 
Amen. Yeah. So let's remember this. Ooh. Father, we just thank you for this opportunity yeah. to come together and uh, study your word. Amen. So receive, child of God. Amen. Yeah. Psalm 69 and 30 says this. I will praise the name of the Lord with the song and we will magnify him with thanksgiving all the time. We talked about uh, praising him. Uh, praise being a weapon mm -hmm. last week. Praise is a weapon. Amen. And uh, I think I left my sheet over there. But, uh, you need the praise sheet? Yeah, bring, bring me with a praise sheet. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And uh, Psalm 70 and 4 in the Amplified says, May all those who seek you as life first priority rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation uh, shall continually say, Let God be magnified. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Last week I gave a handout and we had a slide also about praise is one of the most powerful weapons given to believers by God. Amen. One of some of these spiritual weapons is the word of God, praise and worship, the blood of Jesus and testimony and prayer and the name of Jesus. Amen. This is just five. Amen. Of, uh, powerful weapons God has given us. Yes. And praise is one of them. Amen. So let's not exclude that. Praise is a weapon. There's power in praise. Amen. We we, we talk about uh, Joshua. He had the worshipers up front. And they went around the city so many times, seven times, you know. And then finally, they shot their praise missiles at that wall. And what happened right. to that wall? That's Boom. That wall came down. Yes, Amen. Guess what? Whatever walls are holding you back, uh -huh, uh -huh. shoot your, your praise to God. You know, shoot your, your praise missiles at that wall and watch those walls come down. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So praise is a, a weapon, yes, a great weapon, a mighty weapon. Yes. And so let's remember this. It says spiritual weapons we fight in spiritual battle on a daily basis. Not just once in a while, but on a daily basis, we fight a spiritual battle. If you're not in the Word, if the Word's not in you, and you're not confessing the Word of God, you're defeated. Yeah. yeah. Flesh in the flesh. You cannot defeat the spirit right. in the flesh. You got to get in the word. And you got to confess the word of God. Amen. Jesus said, uh, God says in uh, Isaiah 55, 11, he says that he sends his word out and it goes and accomplishes what he sends it out to do. Amen. And Psalms, it tells us, and Proverbs tells us that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the word you speak. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. Okay, yeah. Let me read it from here. It says, Let us <clears throat> let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Yeah. And let those who love your love your salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. Yes. Let him be magnified. Not just once in a while, but at all times. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. When you're in love with your God, you're gonna magnify him. Yeah. You just can't keep it down. It's got to come out. When you get full of the word, the Bible says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of rivers. living water. Yes. Man, the word is alive. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want my words to be alive, not right. dead. You know? So you be careful. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Believers are to magnify, praise, and give thanks to Him. Our image of God should be big and not small. Amen. We got this backwards. You know, we yeah. see him as something small we don't see him you know and so we just make him small uh -huh. no our image of him should be big and not small when you spend time with him let your god become alive in you amen let, let, let your god become real in you amen magnify him and not the problem yes. you're going to hear this yes. quite often yeah <laughs> amen we got a few scriptures we want to share with you about Magnifying him and not the problem is don't be ashamed. Keep going. <clears throat> I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Yes. If you never read Psalms 91, you ought to read it on a daily basis. Amen. It's a great psalm. Amen. Yes. And Psalms 91 and 2, we just quoted there. Amen. Keep going. Here we go. This is the first one, Mark. Uh, 38, excuse me, 8 and 38 King James says, whoever therefore shall be ashamed of me 
and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation mm -hmm. of him also shall the son of man be ashamed yeah. when he come in glory of his father with the holy angels amen, amen. he said if you're going to be ashamed of me i'll be ashamed of you mm -hmm. So let's let's not be ashamed, amen. That's it. <laughs> Some of us get around their friends, you know, and we're mm -hmm. afraid to say anything. Mm -hmm. And you know, they steady cursing your God, they steady cursing and saying bad things, negative things, mm -hmm. and you don't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a believer. You just want to keep it hidden because you're ashamed. But well, he says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Yes. yes. Go to the next one. Right. All these is about not being ashamed of him, amen. Mm -hmm. Luke 9 26, the King James. But whosoever shall be ashamed of me and my words of uh -huh. him shall the Son of Man be ashamed yeah. when he shall come in his own glory and in his Father's and of the holy angels. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm not ashamed. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of other things that we need to be ashamed of, but we're yeah. not. The world does all these things. You uh -huh. know, you be careful what you see. Be careful what you hear. Be careful what you're around. Mm -hmm. But we don't, we don't hide it. We just say it. Be careful what you speak. We, we watch your words and your actions all the yeah. time. Say amen. Praise yeah. God. One more coming. The next one is this. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God to salvation. For everyone who believes for the Jews and first and also for the uh, Greek. Yes. For it, in the righteous, for it is the righteousness of God uh, is revealed. From the faith to faith, for it is written, the just shall live by faith. That's right. us. We live, we, live, we live from faith to faith, mm -hmm. from day to day. Mm -hmm. But we walk by faith. You know, if you're not walking in faith, you're walking in fear. Yeah. And another scripture we're going to read in a few minutes says, the just shall live by faith. faith. And if you're not living in faith, you're living in fear. Mm -hmm. And to get rid of that fear, you got to get in the Word. You got to have a relationship and spend time with Him and drive all them fears out of you. Yes. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen? Woo. And don't exclude yourself. See right. yourself the way He sees you. Yes. Be a mighty warrior for him amen be a mighty soldier of god amen praise god Ooh, come on now <laughs> relationship with him and words will grow and mature you mm -hmm. amen but we have to get in him your image yeah. and your faith in him will grow and he will be magnified mm -hmm. when you the more you know about him yeah. the more he's going to be magnified amen we must continue to grow spiritually. Yeah. We fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. Remember, the battlefield is yes, a mind. mind. Amen. In order for you to overcome this sin, thing, is you have to renew your mind with the Word of God. You got to feed your spirit the Word of God. If not, you know you're going to have some problems. Uh -huh. Amen. Because what are you meditating on? What are you magnifying? Yes, yes, yes. Amen. It all depends on what are you magnifying. Right. You magnifying your problems. You're just going to have a big battle going on. Mm -hmm. But you got to know, <laughs> you know what? That's not for me. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Word of God says. When you get the Word in you, you're going to start confessing and saying, this is what the Word of God says. Amen? Enemy don't want to hear the spoken word. <laughs> he's, he's not afraid of the Bible sitting on your bookcase or sitting on your coffee table. Mm -hmm. He's afraid of it coming out of you. Yeah. Amen? <laughs> we also fight a good fight of faith on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So as believers, we magnify and praise Him daily. Not just once in a while, well, you know, I don't feel like doing it today. <laughs> maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, maybe next month. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us do it once a year. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do it on a daily basis. You know, the, the enemy does not take breaks. We take breaks. You know why? Because if you're not feeding your spirit and renewing your mind, your flesh is going to take over and your flesh wants to be comfy and your flesh wants to be lazy mm -hmm. and he wants to take breaks and he wants to do all kinds of not so good things mm -hmm. so I say well you know I need to get the word in my spirit feed my spirit mm -hmm. renew my mind with the word of God and the flesh we just got to 
Bible says crucified. Crucified. Amen. Crucified. Keep it down. Mm -hmm. You know, keep it down. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Every time he rises his head, you know, just saying, nope, 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 nope. Not no more. Okay. Not no more. Been there, done that, but guess what? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> so magnifying him is not your problem. Amen. To magnify is to enlarge, yeah. to make bigger. Yeah. Muy grande. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Más grande. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the biggest, uh, one of the stories in the Bible was giant, Goliath. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was no match uh, to, to God. Or David, amen? What about your giants? How big are your giants? It doesn't matter. If you're magnifying him first, your giants are small. Remember, magnify him. Make him big, bigger than your problems. Because he is, amen? We're magnifying our problem more than we're magnifying our God. I mean, this is getting pretty basic here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What are you magnifying? Here's the thing. Write this down and you can answer this question. You know, some whatever is whatever you're magnifying is different than what I'm magnifying. But still, we gotta magnify our God yes. and not our problems, not our cares, whatever you want to call them, circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, we gotta continue, continually magnify Him. Keep going. You see the magnifying glass? Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen one of them since high school. <laughs> let your faith, let your faith be bigger than your fear. Mm -hmm. Let your faith be bigger than your problems. Yes. Amen. Because if you don't do it, your 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 problem or your fear is going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. Amen. What are we going to talk all the time? The first thing that comes out of your mouth is your fear. You're going to be speaking your fear all the time. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. You know, I'm afraid to do this, you know. God called many, and we, we read of Bible heroes, but the, the first thing they say is, I, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't. Why you pick me, you know? I can't, I don't wanna do this, I can't do this. You know, you see yourself small instead of seeing yourself the way God sees you. Even now, you know, see yourself the way God sees you. You think you're in this world right now because God put you here and he has a call on your life and you need to, Call home, heaven, call your God, and find out what it is he wants you to do. He's equipped you to fulfill your mission. He's equipped you to fulfill whatever he's called you to do. But you have to dial home and spend time with him and find out. Amen. And say, what is it you want me to do? I am available. I am answering the, the call. I am answering the call. And I can do all things through Christ. Which strengthens me. See Amen. yourself the way he sees you. A winner. A champion. An overcomer. Yes. Able to do all things through yes. Christ. Through him who strengthens you. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> for we walk. For we. we you know that yeah. we. You can you can scratch the, the, the we out uh -huh. there. And put your name there. For Jose can do. Or walk by faith. He can walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Amen. Where it says I can do all things through Christ. Jose can do all things through Christ. Put your name there. Personalize your Bible. If you don't want to yes. write on your Bible, throw it away, give it away, and get a new one. Uh -huh. One that you can write on. Maybe go to a thrift store. Maybe go somewhere and buy one, you know, that's wow. already used, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, St. Corinthians 5, 7. Keep going, girl. Okay. Let's uh, hold on right there. So, Second Corinthians five seven. We walk by faith and not by. We walk by faith and not by sight. sight. We walk by faith and not by fear. Okay. He didn't put fear in you. He says, "I'm not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind." Yeah. You know, if there's fears in there, get them out. Speak the word. What the word of God says. What are you magnifying? We have magnifying tools. We have glasses, we have uh, microscopes, we have uh, telescopes, we have reading glasses. <laughs> Some of us need now. <laughs> <laughs> These tools have a special lens that brings the object closer and enlarges, it magnifies it, amen? Again, believers, we are to magnify and praise him. We are the lens through which the world views Jesus. Yes. What are you magnifying? What are they seeing? Are they seeing 
you magnifying your God? We are the lens through which the world views Jesus. Be his imitator. Be his imitator. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, in the Amplified, it says, Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and has given himself up for us as a fragrance offering and sacrifice to God. Amen. So we are to be imitators of him. We are to be his ministers of reconciliation. Second Corinthians 5, uh, 17. Keep going, girl. Be his ambassador, his mouthpiece on earth. What is God going to use? He's in heaven. What is he going to use? He's going to use his body. We are the body of Christ. We're the church. So we go and spread the word. Amen. The good news, not the gossip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're church of the, uh, of the good news, not yes. church of the gossip. Amen. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's what? A new creature. A new creature. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The yes. old has gone, the new is here. Some of us really need to get hold of this. Because we're still in the past. Yeah. Amen. We're still prisoners of our past. Our past. Yeah. And it's time to be released. Mm -hmm. He's released us, but we're still. The doors have been opened and we're still behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and we need to get out of there. Yeah. And step out and do what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see the butterfly? Used to be a little worm. <laughs> then a cocoon. Right? Thank you little cocoon you know but you know what it gave birth mm -hmm. to a beautiful butterfly yes, amen so have we amen we come to him now we're new creatures in christ amen. see yourself that way don't let the world don't let people control you by your past that's it amen they try to bring the past all the time put you down talk about you say things about you yeah don't worry about that. Just say, that's, the, that's the old me. You, I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person. Keep going. The next one. Here we go. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. Yeah. New Living Translation. What this means is that those who become Christians become a new person. Uh -huh. You're a new person. Nobody ever told you that. Well, now you know. You're a new person in Him. Quit living in the past. And don't let the enemy or people or anybody right. keep you in the past. You're up here. Amen. Rise up above all those. Uh -huh. You're a new person. They are not the same anymore. You're not the same. Physically, you may look the same. But spiritually, you are born again. That's what born again is all about. You had a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> For the old life is what? Gone. The old life is gone. You mean you got great memories, or yeah. you have bad, but you don't let them go. <laughs> yeah. The old is gone. A new life has begun. Amen. And you know some people can't stand this. So guess what? That's it. <laughs> I told you so many times. I asked the Lord to uh, help me uh, with the with the uh, with the with the enemies, and I started losing friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's going to bring new friends around. Yeah. Amen. New friends for a while, yeah. for a short term, long term, whatever. Still, a new life has begun. Yes. Amen. All this newness of life is gone. It is from God who brought us back to himself through what Christ did. Yes. You know, don't let nobody tell you, uh, you know, what you've done cannot be forgiven. Mm -hmm. What you've done is, is you know, you got to live with uh, you, you have no help no no hope and no help mm -mm. it's wrong yeah that's why it's so important you know the word when you know the truth it's going to set you free yeah, from yeah. all those mindsets it's yeah. going to set you free from all traditions right it's going to set you free from all these people telling you all these things mm -hmm. you know when people tell you something like that just ask them or tell yeah. them um can you give me scripture yeah. yeah give me some scripture i can go and study mm -hmm. give me some scripture i can go and see where you found this i right. uh, say well nobody i don't have scripture so so and so told me well so and so is no match to the word of god you find out for yourself and you tell them you know what i can give you scripture mm -hmm. 
this is what the word of God says. Old things are past. I'm a new person in Christ. And you can go read it for yourself. And read, you know, you set them free. Because they still have bondage. They still hold on. They are bondage to, to their past. You show them. And you let them know this is what the word of God says. Not what I'm saying. I'm saying it because I read it and I studied it. I'm confessing it. But the word of God says you're a new creature in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So you change. I've changed. <laughs> That's the old person you're talking to. When the enemy comes and, and accuses you, says, you know, <clears throat> not no more. I gave it to the Lord, so you go talk to the Lord. And you know he's not going there. <laughs> Praise God. Be his uh, minister of reconciliation, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Be his ambassador, his mouthpiece on earth, wherever you go or happen to be. Amen. On earth. Be, listen, you can write this down. Be the only Bible some will ever see, yeah. some will ever open, and some will ever read or be around. Amen. Be the Bible some will ever see, open, read, or be around. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. If you didn't get that, just see me afterwards. I'll give it to you. <laughs> but you are the Word of God going somewhere to happen. You are that Bible around people. And guess what? They're going to see and they, they're, they're going to hear and they're going to be around the closest thing. You know why? Because some people will never step into a building. Some people will never come into an assembly like this. But they'll be around you. And now you share with them. You are the Word of God. You have the body of Christ going somewhere to happen. You yeah. are the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see or hear. Yes. Come on. Woo. Hallelujah. That blesses me. I don't know about you. Magnify Him. Praise Him. Make Him larger than your problems. Can't say that enough. Hunger, thirst, study, meditate. Yes. Learn more. Study, meditate. Mm -hmm. Amen. We always magnify the world. We always magnify the problems. We always magnify the cares and everything else over Him. We need to turn that around. You know, when you hear somebody saying these things, yeah. let them know. It says, you know, you need to go and, and give them the scripture. Uh -huh. go, you, you, you can go and, 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 and uh, give them the word of God and say, yeah. you know, you don't have to magnify those things anymore. Right. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any mountain. God is bigger than yeah. any giant. That's it. Amen. You made them to be bigger. You made them to be giants. But they're not bigger than my job, than my God. That's and they would do that when he saw Goliath. He said, my God is, is bigger than you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you down today. Yep. So <laughs> you take down your giants, whatever giants you're facing on a daily basis, you take them down because your God is greater than those giants. Amen. Amen. You had a great opportunity. Magnifying, praising Him and not the problems and cares. First John 4.4. Uh, 4. Mm -hmm. says you're a God little children what does he call you we're his children, children. Mm -hmm. amen some people go around even as a believer you go around calling yourself a sinner you got a problem if you go around yeah. as a believer calling yourself a sinner maybe you don't have a relationship with your God mm -hmm. maybe you don't know your God mm -hmm. but he's my heavenly father yes. and I'm his child yeah. I'm his we're children his children that's what he calls us amen but he says, you're a God, little children, and have overcome them. Because yeah. he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Yeah. Or anything coming against you. Mm -hmm. Whatever you've got coming against you. Well, but you don't know what, what I'm facing. You don't know how big my problems are. No. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you don't know your God. Yeah. Because your God is greater than those things that you're magnifying. <laughs> Amen. Your God is bigger. Yes, he is. Hmm. Problems go. arise. Listen, you can write this. Problems arise when we don't magnify Him. Mm -hmm. Problems arise when we don't praise Him. They're going to rise up. Because why have you been magnifying? Why have you been praising? When you know the truth, when you know the Word, it'll set you free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
when you know who's backing you, yeah. when you know whose you are, yeah. you are not moved. That's you it. will stand. I'm going to stand. Amen. Ephesians 6, chapter 6, and verse 13 and 14 says in the New King James, Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, uh -huh. that you will be able to stand, withstand in the yes. evil days, and heaven does all to stand. Uh -huh. Stand, verse fourteen. Yeah. Stand, therefore, having your girt, uh, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Right. It just goes on to say, put on the whole armor of God, not just part of it. You know, when you right. get up in the morning and you go prepare yourselves for for work, wherever you go, uh -huh. for your job, you put you dress fully dress before you go anywhere. Well, he wanted as, uh, as Christians, you know, we don't put on the whole armor of God. And it tells you in uh, chapter 6, the whole thing. Yeah. How to put on the whole starts with verse, uh, I think it's verse 10. And it goes all the way to uh, verse uh, 18. Mm -hmm. But it says, put on the whole armor oh, of God. God. Amen. Because we, we, we don't fight. Let's go there. Okay. And I want you to know this. Mm -hmm. Because we do real good fighting, fighting each other. Yeah. Amen. But... Here's, yeah. here's what the Word of God says in Ephesians chapter 6. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Verse, verse 10, it says, but mine starts off with the whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in who? In the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And here's verse 12. And you can highlight this, underline it. Amen. And it says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So guess what? Your enemy, your neighbor, <laughs> the people that you hate, oh boy. they're not your enemies. Mm -hmm. This is what the Bible, the Word of God says. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen? That's it. In high places. And just goes on to say, you know, to put on the whole armor of God. And it goes through all the uh, parts of parts of the uniform, the whole armor that you got to put on. And we'll study that later on. But this is when you fight. You fight the enemy. You only have one enemy, the devil. You know, the people that work, the people, your family, or whoever that you're fighting against, that's not your enemy. And if you get in a word, and allow the word to change you and strengthen you, you wouldn't be fighting with them anymore. That's it. And Lord, I'm just casting all these cares on you because you care for me. Yes. We learn to say, I'm going to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Worries, anxieties, all these things, I'm just going to cast on you. Amen. Uh, you know, we, we collect trash at, at the house. But we take it out to the dumpster to empty our trash. <laughs> we need to do the same thing. When all this trash is coming against us. Yes. We need to take it and dump it on him. Because yeah. he says, I love you so much. Mm -hmm. Bring it to me. Cast it on me. Give it to me. I want you to continue your walk. Amen. And fulfill your walk. And we're not going to do it with all that extra trash. With all this extra weight. With all this extra mess on us. We got to dump it and get rid of it. If you're not getting rid of it, guess what? It's going to weigh you down. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be magnifying him. You're going to be magnifying problems. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> He knew about this. Yep. So we need we need to know to give it to him. And you know, dump it. Take it to the dump and dump yes. it. Yes. Take it to him and cast he said he just didn't say, uh, leave it here. He said, cast it, cast mm -hmm. means throw it. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Throw it. Give it. Don't yes. hold it. Woo, come on. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Where are we? Keep going, Carmen. Oh, that's the last. Oh, that's the last one? <laughs> yeah, okay. Just leave it, leave it right there. That's where we are. Have deep roots, deep foundation in here. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see this, uh, this slide. It says, let your roots grow down into him. And yeah. let your lives be built up uh -huh. or built on him. Yeah. Then your faith will grow strong. In the truth, in the word, yeah. you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You see this tree, man, it's healthy. 
<laughs> and it's strong. You go to the next one. It'll show you. The winds come, the storms come, the storms uh -huh. of life come, but guess what? It's got deep roots. Yeah. What's, what's, what, what's them roots say? Christ. Christ. <laughs> you got some deep roots in the Word. You got some deep roots in Christ. And when you have deep roots in Christ, you will produce, what's that say? Faith. 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 Your faith is going to grow. And your image of Him is going to grow. And you better magnify Him and not your problem. And not all these little storms of life that come around, all these problems, cares that come around, you're going to be strong and rooted down in the Word of God. And them things ain't going to move you. Amen. What he told his disciples. He says, we're going to the other side. That should have been enough for them to say, uh, for, 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 the, for them to say, uh, I have faith. He said, we're going to the other side. And I believe in his word. So we're getting to the other side. But no, he went to sleep. He had faith in what he said. And he went to sleep. And the disciples came. The storm rose up. The storm rose up and um, they were afraid. They were frightened. So they went to him and said, Master, don't you care that we perish? <laughs> I said, where's your faith? Where's your faith? I already spoke. We're going to the other side. That's not why. That's what I'm saying. But he calmed the seas. He calms the winds and all these things. Are, wow. Amazing. See what our, how big our God is? He can calm anything around you. Amen. He's bigger than all those things. Matthew, uh, excuse me. David, the two spies, the Hebrew children, Daniel, Stephen. They were committed. They stepped out in faith. Amen. Remember David? He fought the giant. And he had faith in his God. And he stepped out. Amen. What about the spies? They sent 12 spies. Ten of them came back with negative reports. Bad reports. You know. But two of them came back with good reports. Man, ten of them saw themselves as grasshoppers. We saw giants. There's lands of giants out there. We like grasshoppers, man. They can stomp us. Two of them says, uh -uh, our God is bigger. They saw their circumstance. They saw Jesus bigger and magnified Jesus more. They said, man, these guys are nothing. With God, we can do all things. That's what I'm saying. The Hebrew children, they saw their God. And they threw him in the fire. They magnified their God and threw them in the fire. And guess what? Jesus joined them in the fire. And they didn't burn. Only the people that threw them in got burnt. But they didn't, they didn't burn. What about Daniel? He had so much faith in God. <laughs> Either them, God, them lions were well fed. Or the Lord just shut their mouth. Because they didn't bother Daniel at all. Amen? <laughs> I think it was the other way around. I think God just calm them down and shut their mouth amen but because that's what faith did because he didn't, he didn't have fear he had faith and fear was out and didn't bother him at all praise god amen and what about stephen also he was magnifying his god they took him to the to, to the to the end of town and stoned him because he loved this god awesome and you know it's the only place in the Bible you'll see. The Bible tells us that Jesus said it at the right hand of God, a place of honor, a place of authority. Yeah. But this is the only place where you where you see and read that Jesus stood to receive Stephen. <laughs> He'll do the same for you. Amen. He intercedes for us when he saw Stephen being stoned. Yes. Amen. Jesus stood up. Amen. That's how much he loves us. Matthew 6, 33. Daily. Life's priorities. Jesus first. Always. Jesus first. And you're second. <laughs> oh, whatever it may be after that. Get your priorities in order. And reverse the curse. <laughs> reverse the way you talk. And confess the right words. Confess the, your, your uh, speak. Your, your, your words. Speak faith-filled words. Build up your faith. Build your faith. Faith roots, not on fear roots. So you're building yourself and you're going to have some faith roots and not fear roots. 
whatever yeah. you magnify the most, you're going to have roots of fear or you're going to have roots of faith. But it's going to come out of you. What are you doing? What are you magnifying? Magnify him over anything and don't be ashamed. Too many strain their eyes trying to see without magnifying yeah. him. Praise him and exalt him. Church, get the right image of God and how a magnif magnificent he is. Be a Jesus imitator. Have relationships. Study, meditate, and mature. It means grow. Grow. Amen. Grow and go for him. Praise God. Wear your spiritual magnifying glasses uh, daily. Wear your Jesus glasses on a daily basis. You want to see my Jesus glasses? It says Jesus glasses. <laughs> Wear your Jesus glasses everywhere you go. So you see people with his love and compassion. Instead of seeing them through your eyes of yeah. hate, anger, and all these other negative things. No, you see them with those magnifying Jesus glasses of love and compassion. Yeah. And the same Jesus that died for you, died for them. Yeah. Amen. And he wants all to come to him to be saved. And how, is he going, how are we going to get the word to them? Us. Through us. Be his ambassador. Be his mouthpiece on earth. And spread the good news of the gospel. Amen. And not the gossip. <laughs> Praise God. Wear your spiritual gla uh, magnifying glasses daily. Love and compassion. We must look at him through these spiritual uh, magnifying glasses. And stay focused despite of what's happening around us. Oh, remember coronavirus? <laughs> oh, you know, whatever. The world comes up with something new every day. Still. Still the, the same God. Still the same powerful God. Still magnify Him over anything the world uh, comes up with. There's nothing new except our God. Amen. He is. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says this in the NIV. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, magnify Him, praise Him, and He will make your path Right. Amen. Amen. I added a few things there. <laughs> but you read it for yourself. Still, he's saying, in all your ways, submit to him. In all your ways, acknowledge him. In all your ways, magnify him. Praise him. Uh, and he will make your path, your walk, your mission, strength. Amen. Amen. When you put your love and compassion, Jesus glasses on, man. I know you want some. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Magnify him by casting all cares on him. First Peter 5 and 7. Learn that scripture. Get it in you. So when you see people going through all these problems, you know, and they come share with you, you say, you know what? Let me show you what the Bible says. First Peter 5 and 7 says, cast all cares on him because he cares for you. He cares for you. When he says you, you can put their name right there. Yes. Yeah. When he says you, you can put your name right there. Yes. Remember, highlight, personalize this Bible and make it for you. Amen. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to stop there. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we'll have to do a part two on this. <laughs> so, mag mag remember, remember to magnify, magnify Him. Him. Amen. Magnify yeah. Him. You are to magnify the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Are you magnifying the Lord? He deserves our highest praise. Amen. He yes. deserves our highest praise. Amen. Amen. So, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Woo, did you get something? Did you get it? Yeah. Amen. I hope it blessed you and blessed me. <laughs> Praise God. Praise thank God. You, Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to study your word and learn from your word, Father. Help us, Lord, to be Thank your uh, ministers of reconciliation. Be yes. your ambassadors, Father, and go and grow, grow and yes. go for you, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Help us to receive this word, Lord, and apply it to our life, Lord. And thank you for us to see yourself the way you see us, Lord, yes. as winners, champions, Lord, and yes. overcomers in this world. <clears throat> and we thank you and we magnify you, Father God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You. Amen. You know, if you're watching or listening, 
will give you the opportunity if you never accepted Christ in your life. Yes. Now's the time. You know, today is your day. Yes. The Bible yes. says this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. It's time that you magnify that by mm -hmm. rejoicing and be glad yes. that God has given us a new day. Yes. And this is your day to say, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. I want to be there and make myself available for you and serve you. Amen. So praise God. Let's remember that. If you said that, you know, you're born again, get yourself in a Bible-based church Amen. where you can go and, and, and learn about Him. Amen. Amen. And have relationship with Him on a daily basis mm -hmm. and magnify Him from this day on. Yes. Amen. Praise God. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you're, you're healed. healed. Yeah. Keep confessing. No matter what your body's telling you, no matter what the doctor says, doctor's report says, you know, I'm confessing what the Word of God says. By His stripes, I am healed. I'm standing on that body. Line up with the Word of God. Receive your healing. We rebuke that spirit of infirmity in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I call you well and I call you healed in Jesus' name. Praise God. So, thank you, blessing. <laughs> Time to give. Those that are watching, listening, we like to give of your tithe or your offering, uh, just uh, go to our website. It says NBCBigBen.com and hit that donate button. Mm -hmm. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Or Cash, or cash App. Thank you, Father. To NBC. To NBC. Big ben. Amen. So praise God. God bless you. God loves you and we love you. Amen. And continue to magnify Him and not your problem. Amen. Praise Amen. God.